Hi and welcome to my video. I am Laura just in case you guys didn't know and today I'm going to be filming a video where I turn myself into an Instagram soft grunge punk edit. I have a bunch of pictures here on my Instagram explore page that I want to try to like recreate. Not really. Um, but disclaimer, this is not a makeup routine. Um, how do I say? Like tutorial. Um, because I'm not that good at makeup, but you'll see that <laughs> in a second. Um, so I'm just going to get right into my makeup and just don't judge me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so usually I put um, this Tarte Maracuja oil so that, I don't know if you can tell that's focused. Yes, I have Halloween band-aids. <laughs> um, just to like prime my skin a little bit because I have really dry skin and I want to make it look nice and dewy because that's how these girls look in these pictures. Now that I've done that, I'm going to put on my foundation. I use uh, the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation and I'm in the shade Light to Medium Sand. So I'm just going to put this on like regular foundation or whatever. So I actually don't have a... Uh, like a good um, concealer so I like to pack on as much as I can because it's very buildable at least that's what they told me so you know I put it on the reddest parts of my skin that's right at my nose and then a lot on my cheeks because I'm just really right on my cheeks I don't usually put this much foundation on but since I'm trying to look like really um, clean face I want to get as like much as my like red marks off my skin, so which foundation it is. I also have this mirror right here, so that's why I'm looking that way. But should I turn it a little bit? Turn it this way. It's funny because I see like all of these pictures on my explore page, and only I'm sure because I like them so much and like save them so that I can do a video like this because I've been wanting to do this for the longest. But I am a lazy lazy person and I work too much so that's my excuse <laughs> so I just recently bought a concealer it's literally two dollars about elf but we had to make my face look nice and bright and young and beautiful so I have the elf elf uh, setting powder I'm gonna pull some in there I'm gonna grab Fluffy brush. Don't judge me, I don't know how to make it. And I'm just gonna set my face. Especially in my eyes because I crease a lot there. That's because I have bags. I don't sleep enough. Okay, got that. I'm gonna use a bunch of palettes today because I want to have um, the brightest eyes in the world. I want to have a bunch of yellow and like nice and like vibrant colors. Um, I have a, um, we have this Take Me Back to Brazil palette that has a very, very nice yellow. You know, I'm going to prime my eyelids with this Morphe primer. I said that I wasn't going to do like a makeup routine, but here I am telling you everything that I'm using. Oh god, my hair. Whoops. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go in with like a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna... Actually... I'm gonna take this Carly Bible palette. Carly Bible by BH Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna grab this light one right here. Just to put it on top of my whole eyelid. I don't know the techniques. Don't judge me. I should just put a counter upon my tongue to say don't judge me, right? Okay, and then I'm just gonna just brush off the excess stuff. Just, just with a little, a little tissue. It's a tissue. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into the welcome or uh, what is it? Take me back to Brazil. Welcome to Brazil. To um, the take me back to Brazil. I'm gonna take the, the yellow 
on here. I don't know the shade colors, sorry. And I'm just gonna put that on my eyelid. Here, let me move this a little bit this way so you can see that what I'm doing. So I see a lot of pictures like this. Um, they use yellow and it looks like they have bees coming out of them. Look how cool that is. Is that too? Is that dark? That's just so cool. So I'm going to do something like that. Just her eyes are so nice and bright. And I think I'm just going to have to pack on a bunch of yellow here. I feel like the worst amount of space to like to work with eyeshadow because it just there's no eyelid space but you know that's fine I should play some music like when I knew I belong and that he got a hold on me I'm going a little high so that you can just tell that I have the yellow on. So it won't be a little extra. I just want to make sure that the color really pops in the picture. So I'm going to take or that I'm going to, you know, trying to create myself into this grunge punk pretty edit. So another thing that I really notice in these pictures is that they all do like very nice and vibrant blush so that's another thing that I'm going to take in consideration and just pack it on <laughs> looking like I just cried or something okay so I've already applied the yellow or as much yellow that I think um, should go on my eyelids um, but I think I'm going to go in with a um, another fluffy brush by Morph M36 332 332 <laughs> um, I'm gonna put a little bit of orange in there that one right next to the yellow just a tiny bit so that it looks like sunset on my eyes I'm just gonna put that like on the outer um, edge of my eye Okay, so I'm going to go in with some blush. And I use this Femme Rosa Carucci by Colourpop. It's the Her Face Palette. And then I'm going to go with the nose. I'm going to go If it looks like you've just cried, then you're doing it right. <laughs> I want to go in with this... I think I'm going to do Orion color. Just so that it kind of looks cool. Obviously, a lot of these um, edits are not like very um, particularly my style, but let's try it out. I'm just going to go on with the same brush here. I wonder if you can actually see the blue. I'm nervous. You can, but it looks cool. The point is to go a little crazy, you know? Do you know try to do something like this and add a little bit of freckles to my skin okay so I'm actually back and I've done a few things off camera um, first being mascara and um, eyeliner I use the um, Tarte man eater for the mascara and I use the Kate Von D tattoo liner for the um, eyeliner. I also um, went in with some freckles because, like I showed in that last picture there, um, the girl had a lot of freckles and like 
I don't think that many freckles will look good on me, but I did do some on half of my face already. And I just went in with the Tarte um, Shape Your Money Maker, I'm assuming that's the name of the palette. Um, and I took this um, slim color and I did tone up. Put a bunch of like random freckles everywhere because obviously freckles are sun marks and um, they, they're not perfect. You know, it's not like perfectly shaped. So I'm going to go in with slim and tone up again and just put a bunch of uh, faux freckles on my face. And what I did is I took this little um, pointy brush here and I um, just focus <laughs> um, and I just wet it like I literally put a drop of water shook it off and then just went in and dot dot and then it doesn't matter how um, um, deep you put it in um, I did some that already you can tell that are darker and some that are not so dark I do have some freckles um, I have some on my nose I have you know the one on my forehead there but I just wanted to do um, a ton more I also really just wanted to do the um, the eyeliner off camera because I don't know how to do eyeliner. <laughs> I just kind of won uh, winged it. That's a joke there. Um, and did my best, but yeah. And just like that, I have freckles. <laughs> and let's see what else I can do because I have a bunch of like inspiration here there's some that like they do they have like stuff to their eyes but i cannot do that because i don't have that i mean like i do have that uh, bedazzles but i don't know it'll go with it i think one thing i do have to do is add a lot of lot of highlight in the corner of my eyes and while doing that i'm gonna take i think this is i'm pretty sure this is like a I think it's called a packing brush and just pack on that highlight. And I think I'm gonna take either Luna or Eclipse. I think I think I'm gonna go with Luna. And just oof. And just literally put it in the inner corners of my eyes. So I don't know. Oh, that is bright. I think that's the point is like very over dramatic makeup. Um, something that I don't do on a regular basis, so really like look at that highlight. I don't hate it. And I'm gonna um I'm gonna go in with Luna again. I'm gonna I'm just using the same brush to matter. I'm gonna just put it on my nose so that it looks a lot more Let me know how bad I did my makeup. <laughs> no, honestly, I really do love learning about um, new makeup techniques and stuff. Um, but I don't know. I don't think I have the patience for it. A little pasadita over my face. <laughs> and I'm going to take, I'm going to do a navy blue. A lot of um, shine there. And I think I'm going to go from the bottom. From there, I'm just putting it on, like, not even half of my eye. Oh, I didn't go out to this. And let me just blend it. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. I did my hair, and I added a little bit of blue. Um, <laughs> that was funny. I added a little bit of blue eyeliner to the bottom of my eyes um, using a the Maybelline Color Tattoo by Eye Studio. So it looks like that. Anyway, um, I think I did a good job. My hair um, is hard to do, like always. I don't think this is so much of a grunge look as it is more just like um like very like aesthetic um uh i think the thing that's gonna make it a little bit more grunge is when i edit the picture and make it a little bit darker 
because right now I think it's very light and like cute instead of like grunge and punk and you know this dress kind of doesn't fit me <laughs> I haven't worn it for quite some time and I think I lost some weight but that's not a bad thing is it okay so in the end I ended up doing two um, like space buns in my hair and I added these earrings um, just for like a little bit like more style and then I just added the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, lip gloss so just the gold one so my lips kind of stand out a little bit more so yeah I, I really like this look um, I don't think I could do it like on a regular basis because this is very um, girly and you know but I'm gonna try to edit it to make it seem like it's a little bit more dark <laughs> gonna just try to take some um, pictures um, but I really hope that you guys like this um, if anything it's just like a little cute idea to like you know have fun and take some pictures um, um, but I also do like this hair here I have like little jewels like that but I don't think it goes with the colors that I added so they're here. Like if you did like it um, and let me know what I can do in the future. <laughs>